My upgraded solar system is currently producing power, but we are still in a state of testing and making a few changes to the setup. Today I wanted to talk about the inverter that I've chosen, which is the Growatt SPF 5000 ES, and have a look at what information is available on the display. Also talking about what parallel mode is. So we're still in the uh, setup stage, but I thought I'd just have a little look at what information we can get from the inverters. So as a reminder, we have three five kilowatt Growatt inverters. And uh, this one on the left is connected to five kilowatts on the roof of the third floor and a nine kilowatt hour lithium battery. The, uh, the next two inverters currently are connected to my original 32 panels so 16 each and they're 350 watt panels each um, and each of them is currently connected to a 9 kilowatt hour battery. So let's have a look at the display here. So first of all we can see that we've got 4000 watts coming in. The batteries are at 93 percent and this is the host machine. And the second one uh, there's 4,000 watts coming in, the batteries are 93% and this is slave one. And you see there's a nice little uh, dotted line that you can follow. Solar is coming into the inverter and it's going into the battery and then it is sending the solar into the house. So there's no power coming from the grid and there's no power coming from the batteries. And this third one here, so these these panels are designed for picking up uh, late afternoon and evening sun. Um, again, 93% because all the batteries are joined together. These are all in parallel, the inverters and the batteries. Uh, so they're talking to each other. 93%, only two and a half, 2,400 watts coming in. Um, we are actually charging the EV at the moment. Uh, because yesterday the system was down for some setup we weren't able to charge the car and we needed to use it so the battery was completely flat so um, a lot of load on the house um, but uh, some good information just on on the basis of the inverters and uh, you can actually drill down and see more information um, so you've got, you've got the voltage of what's going on with the voltage. Uh, this is the total kilowatts uh, to 90 kilowatts since uh, we installed this. One question I'm already getting is how I'm managing my grid connection. I'm trying to be completely off grid but as I have access to the grid, I want to have that as a backup situation. But I don't want to use the grid connection to charge the batteries, only to feed power to the house. So as you can see in this picture here on the inverter, power from the grid goes into the house and it does not go into the batteries. 